This interesting piece of rock is called obsidian, also known as volcanic glass. It's the result of the um, lava either cooling too quickly or too slowly, I can't remember which one, but at very, very high temperatures, the same way that you make glass out of sand. And uh, there's not a whole lot in this area, but this is called Glass Mountain. And we're just in a very small part of it. And we are surrounded by obsidian and pumice. And that's Glass Mountain proper. But this whole area is just filled with these calderas and, and craters filled with this, uh, this uh, volcanic glass. And this is one really cool feature here made out of a mixture of obsidian and pumice. And you can see these awesome striation marks. Oh, it's rough going. And look at that. You can almost see the way that the liquid lava flowed. And then between these two giant boulders jutting out of the ground, there's a deep crevice that goes probably down at least 20 or 30 feet. And if you look on the sides of the wall, it's like a pool of lava. And then, if we go up, 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 ooh, whoa, not down, not down. Beautiful view of the valley. And over that enormous pile of rock is Lava Beds National Monument. And there's mom. This is an example of some black pumice, which is uh, basically made out of the same material as obsidian, but it's got little air pockets trapped in the rock. So this stuff, because of that air, will actually float in water, and it's super light. And because of that, walking over all these rocks, we keep falling because we keep floating. you step on the big rocks expecting them to be pretty uh, stable, sure, but not. in reality, a lot of these are much lighter than they look. This is another fine example of obsidian. And then if you look down here, this looks like some obsidian slash pumice. You can see some of the shiny bits. And these were enormous air holes that blew out when the rock was forming. And then over here, I just stepped on this stone and the entire surface of it cracked like a tile. So it's kind of amazing because this stuff is extremely dense and heavy and can be flaked off into razor sharp edges down to the point down to like the width of a molecule and the same material that just formed at a different temperature is so fragile that it can break upon impact upon impact